Hey, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am about to film my, I guess, 2020s favorites, like products that I just use on the, um, pretty consistently just products that I have been loving my go-to products, products that I basically just reach for and grab. So I figured I would show it, show you guys just things that I love and I'm super excited because these, I think the year favorites is my favorite video of like all time. That and hauls. I love hauls, but I love seeing what everyone discovered, what they use, what are their go-tos and everything. What happened? No, no. Always a hot mess, I swear. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so I guess first thing is first. Um... I try not to get a ton of stuff because I don't want my video to be like super, super long. So I'm going to try to keep it simple, short, and um, yeah, I have a little bit of skincare. I have a little bit of lotions, hair care, and a few palettes. Just, I try to just kind of get a little bit of everything. That way you guys can see um, the products that I am loving at this moment. So don't mind this that I just popped it. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. First thing is I'm going to start off with my lotions. I love lotion. Every night I take a shower before bed and I load my whole body up in lotion. Just there's something about the way a lotion smells. It helps you sleep better, unwind, you feel comfy, you're cozy. And it's just one thing that um, I live for. Now I have multiple lotions that I love to use, but right now I'm just going to show you my go-to ones just at the moment that I have been using. So first thing first, it's going to be, um, excuse me, from the brand Philosophy. And I know you guys all know who they are. Um, this one is called Falling in Love. And this is the Firming Body Lotion. Comes in this huge package. My grandma bought me this for Christmas. She always sends me their lotions and body washes. And I just love her for it because they all smell so amazing. But this smell, I just, I love it. It's one of my favorites along with the um, Amazing Grace and Pure Grace. But um, this goes on and your skin feels so soft. It feels like heaven. Like, I don't know what I would do without this. Um, I definitely um, love it. And it smells super soft, it's subtle, it's cozy, and it's just, it's a beautiful um, smell. So this one right here, I'm just kind of going to put stuff on the floor, I guess. My next lotion is newly um, discovered. I just discovered it and I love it. This is a hand lotion. Now I wash my hands probably close to like a <laughs> hundred times a day. I don't know, but it's a lot. And so I ordered this hand lotion from Way, and I'm obsessed. It's $32, I believe. You get 16 ounces, but um, I keep this one and that other lotion right next to my bed. And um, this, I lather my hands with it before I go to bed, and it just, it just smells so good. I really, really like this brand. So those are my two lotions that are just my go-to. I have my body one and my hand cream. I just figured it would be easier to show you. They also have this in a little bottle, so you could buy it and put it in your purse. And yeah, trust me, you'll love it. I guess I'm just going to move stuff over here. Next, I'll just do body wash. I just have one body wash, and it's from Philosophy. I have um, a huge bottle like this. It's in my shower. It's the um, Amazing Grace. This is my backup one. This one is Falling in Love, the same as my lotion, and it comes in this huge bottle. How many ounces? Yeah, this is 32, which is the same for the lotion. So you definitely get quite a bit um, in here, but um, I, I love it. So... And I love that I get such a big one. It lasts forever. And um, yeah, it's definitely my go-to. Next is going to be, I guess I'll do skincare. So I'm going to start with toner. Um, the Ola Henriksen uh, Dark Spot Toner is my favorite. This one's almost gone. Yes, I have a backup one. Um, I always have backups of my favorite products. I would hate to run out of something and not have it. It would be, I would be devastated. 
but I really, really like this. I use this maybe three to four times a week. I mean, I only do it at night, but it's one of my favorites. I have one other toner that I'm going to share with you guys. And this is by Bliss. This is Claire Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum Clarity 5 Complex BAH Witch Hazel that Nisinamide <laughs> Zinc PCA and Sika. This is awesome for acne. It is um basically a gel and it comes out in here and I just kind of take my finger and I put it um, all over. This is great since I've been breaking out with the masks. Um, I highly, highly recommend this. I've been using this um, a lot lately and I, I just love it. Next, I will be, um, I guess my moisturizers. I have three. Um, you guys all know Tatcha, the Indigo Cream. It's my ride or die. If you've watched any of my videos, you all already know everything about this product. So I don't even need to go on about it. Next is I recently went to Trader Joe's for like the first time. Well, like since I've been here, I haven't been for a while. And I saw this online um, a while ago. I saw Trader Joe's Ultra Hydrating Gel Moisturizer with Aloe and Green Tea. It is bomb. Bomb, diggity, bomb. It goes on. There's like no smell. It goes on and like you rub it and you rub it and then it just completely goes matte. Completely. And it just soaks in. It has not broken me out. There's no color to it. There's no smell. It's, it has awesome ingredients. And um, I love this. I think it was $8.99. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, I highly recommend um, getting that. Next is my another one of my favorites. It's by Glow Recipe. It's so cute. I think they have a bigger one now too. It's the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice juice moisturizer i love this it smells so good and it's super hydrating and then i know i talked in my tanning video about my um this product here i guess in my whatever video <laughs> so you tan but um facial spray cbd tanning water 50 percent darker i love this it smells like lavender um amazing product i spray it before bed and it just I wake up and I have a beautiful, beautiful color to my face. It is so, so good. So next for hair is I figured I'd just show you guys this little set because it was around for Christmas time. But um, I have their products in my shower and obviously I have their lotion, but their leave-in conditioner is so good. And it smells so good. It's the best smelling hair stuff like I have ever used in my life. Now the dry shampoo and this new detox um, shampoo I actually have not tried yet so these will be new but I'm super excited to try those out um mm, we'll stick with skincare at the moment this is from Lux Skin and it's my favorite tool and um, if you had to buy one thing from them this would be this would be it so you just turn it on and it vibrates and it's red and you just kind of take it and it gets everything and it just helps tighten your muscles and just everything. It's got a vibration. I'm going to turn it off. Did I turn it off? Yeah. I couldn't tell because the, my light was on. But um, it's so small. It literally fits in your hand. It's great to throw in your bag if you're traveling. Like you still get your red light and everything with it. It is fantastic. So next I'm going to talk about my concealers, uh, just my go-to ones for me personally that I have been using. So my first one is the Morphe one. Um, this has been my go-to. It is almost gone. Um, I've gone through quite a bit. I use it every morning on my eyes and it's self-setting so I don't need to set it. So I just love it for that. My next one would be the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish as well as their other one. They have a few new concealers that they came out with and they are so bomb. Like the only thing that I would have to say is you really, really have to be careful. Um, it is super, super pigmented. Like when I mean like the littlest dot, just whoop, it'll cover your whole eye. Okay, so next is I have one lip product that I want to talk about. I just haven't gotten into lip care this year because of all the mess, but Maybelline came out with this lifter um, gloss. It's hyaluronic acid in it, and it is so pretty. 
I don't know what color mine is. Mine's ice, but it's super light. It's like a clear gloss. It's plumping, soothing. And uh, I really like it. And I think the packaging is cool too. So next I'm going to go in and show you my two new highlighters that I have been using. And they are from the Jamie Genevieve collection. This one here is Holy Chic. And um, I did a video on them and I love them. The other one is Benjoa Visual. I don't know. But this color right here. Whoops is great for like um inner corner eye and just everything i just love it okay so i'm going to show you two eyeliners that i have discovered that i love and i'm just going to show you my uh backup ones the nyx epic ink liner is so bomb you can get the most perfect wing is super pigmented is sharp is pointed and it lasts it is hmm, scrumptious Next is the Huda one. These are on sale at the moment for $12. I bought several of them, but you get a liquid liner on one side and then on the other side, you get your eyeliner. So I love this. Um, another one that's really, really good. Mine's almost gone is the Marc Jacobs. Hands down, Marc Jacobs is where it's at, like hands down. So next is I'm showing you guys like all my box stuff. This is shade three. This is the Gimme Brow. I love this for just kind of fluffing my brows. They stay put, they stay, they add a little bit of color and um, it just gets the job done. So next is mascara. Um, my all time favorite mascara is actually the um, Lash Sensational. And I mean, I have tons of them. Like I have the Roller Lash, but no, no. The Essence Lash Princess is where it's at. It goes on super nice. It gives you thick, long lashes that stays. I love it. All right, so lastly, I just have three palettes really that, four eyeshadow palettes that I want to talk about. So um, the first one is Khaki by Huda Beauty. And this palette for me was one of my favorites that she has definitely come out with. I love this color here and just everything. It's like an awesome smoky um, green brown eye look and I love these little guys. Next one is going to be the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2. I have three of her palettes but I really like this one here. It's super easy to go in with the base colors and just build something up. It's great. Um, I love every single color in here. The only color I've not used is this green one down here because um, I don't do a lot of color, but um, the palette itself is just completely gorgeous. My next palette is gonna be the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Um, I just love this palette. I love everything so honey and like bronze. I don't know what else to say, but it's a gorgeous palette. If you have to treat yourself, this is where it's at. I also have the uh, Glam Palette, which is pretty good too. I mean, it's not my favorite, but uh, it's definitely up there. It's a gorgeous palette um, as well. All right, my last palette is going to be obviously from Jamie Genevieve. This is her Essential Palette, and I know I did a video on it, but it's my go-to. I use it a lot. Just, It's so beautiful. I can use it for everything. I have seen some mixed reviews on it, and I really don't understand what they're talking about. So, I'll just tell you my opinion, and it's boom. That's all you need to know. All right, so I have one more thing to show you, and it's going to be my bronzer. My favorite bronzer um, at the moment is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, yes, it is expensive. Yes, it's high up there. But can we just take a minute? Like, I don't feel like I need to say anything else. The package, the packaging is bomb. I love this shape, and I have so many bronzers over there. But um, this one I like, but um, Rihanna, the her um, skincare or her makeup line, I love her bronzers as well. I actually use the, that one more than this one. This one is like my special one that um, I save. But yeah, I think I hit, went through everything that I had wanted to go through. Oh no, I had one nail thing. 
So this is um, Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle Growth Treatment. It's in this little gold bottle. Um, I can't really wear nail polish at work or anything and my nails are always breaking. So I've been going in with this as a treatment and uh, my nails have been growing and they look pretty good. They're strong and I think it's because of this bad boy. So yeah. Well, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you guys next time.